Hi everyone! This tutorial will show you how to build a very simple one voice mixer with a false programming language. This one voice mixer will take an input signal and will be able to control the amplitude of this input signal, also to mute it or to root it whether on the left channel or the right channel. So this object will be a stereo object. The first thing we need to do is to create a new file, a new .dsp file, and we're going to it in FastWorks. Okay, FastWorks is a program that makes it possible to write some false code here and to automatically show you the block diagrams of your false code and also the generated C++ code. Okay, so we create a new file and we save it now so we can name it. We're going to call it one voice mixer dot DSP. Okay. So here we have the code of our false file and here the generated block diagram. So to build our one voice mixer, the first thing we need to do is to create an amplify function. This function will take an input signal and multiply it by a value between zero and one. So we want to control it through a graphical user interface, so we're going to use a special primitive in Faust, which is called hslider. This primitive will create a horizontal slider uh, in our graphical user interface. So the name of the slider will be gain. Okay. Uh, the default value of the slider will be zero. The minimum value will be zero as well the maximum value 1, and finally the step will be 0 0.01. Okay, so the false code is okay, so now what we can do is just to integrate this function in our process. And we shall see the resulting block diagrams here. Okay. So as we can see, we take an input signal and this input signal is multiplied by a value controlled by a H slider between 0 and 1 with a step of 0 0.01. Okay, so the next thing we're going to do now is to create a mute button. So the mute button will be pretty much the same thing than the amplify function. So we create a mute function and this function will multiply an input signal by a value that will be whether 0, whether 1. Okay. Um, so to do it, we're going to use also a special primitive for the graphical user interface in Faust. We're going to use a check box. Okay. So the name of this check box will be mute, of course. Okay. So here is the name of our check box. So when the box is checked, it return zero. It return one, sorry. And when it is unchecked, it returns zero. So we'll have to reverse the result of this checkbox by doing a one minus the checkbox. Okay. So when the box is checked, then the signal is muted. And when the box is unchecked, then the signal uh, is not muted and will be routed to the amplify function. So we're going to integrate this mute function in our process. So basically, we're just going to put it here and connect it to our amplify function. So we shall see the resulting blind diagrams on the screen here. And we take an input signal. The signal is multiplied by the value from the checkbox. Okay, so 1 minus the checkbox. And this signal is then sent to our amplify function that will multiply it by a value between 0 and 1. Okay, so now to complete our one voice mixer, we're going to add a banner. So we'll be able to route the signal uh, on the left channel or the right channel. To do it, we're going to create a new function. This function will be called pan. Okay, so this is going to be a bit more complicated. 
So what this function will do is basically just take an input signal and spread it into two different signals. These two different signals will be multiplied by a value written by a variable that we're going to call p, okay? So for the left channel, the value will be multiplied by p, and for the right channel, the value will be multiplied by the reverse of p, so 1 minus p. Okay, so now the last thing we have to do is to declare p. So we're going to use with to do it. So with makes it possible to declare um, variables, but that will be just valid for uh, our current function. So here it is pen. Okay, so here we declare p. So the value of p will be controlled also through the graphical user interface. So to do it, we use an n entry primitive. Okay. Uh, we have to name this n entry. So basically an n entry is just a simple uh, number box. So you choose the number in a box and then it return the number you give. So the default value of our n entry function will be 0 0.5, the minimum value 0, and the maximum value 1, with a step of 0 0.1. Okay, so apparently this is working. So now we can add our pen function to our process. So we'll put it at the end. We use that colon to connect it in our process. Okay, so now we shall see the result on the screen. Okay. So, as you can see, the output signal from Amplify is spread in two different signals. So, one signal is multiplied by P and the other signal is multiplied by 1 minus P. Okay, so basically this is the left signal and the right signal. So, our one voice mixer take uh, an input signal and it returns two different signals. So this is a stereo object. So we want to have a nice uh, graphical user interface. Uh, so we're going to use some more options here. So first we're going to declare the order uh, in which uh, the different uh, the different parameter is declared here, so mute, gain, and pen will appear in the graphical user interface. So we're gonna start here. So we'll say that our banner will appear first from the right of our graphical user interface. Then gain will appear in the second position from the right as well in our graphical user interface. And finally, here, the mute button uh, will appear last from the right in our graphical user interface. One other thing we can do here is um, for the panner, uh, decide to use a knob instead of a number or a just very simple slider. Uh, to have a better graphical user interface. So here we're going to use a metadata and we'll say that it is a knob to Faust. Okay, so finally, if we want to have the right order here in our process, we're going to have to create an H group. So all the functions of one voice mixer will be in this age group, and this group will be called voice. So, everything works fine. So here we can see that we have our group, which is called age group. Okay, so now we save our DSP file, okay, and we shall find it here. Okay, so we have our one voice mixer.dsp. 
to compile it, uh, we're going to use the JackQt architecture files, uh, which is pretty nice, I think. And we have everything here to do it. So basically what I do is just that I copy my one voice mixer.dsp file in this folder, which has different make files. So we're going to be able to compile it in with whatever architecture file we want. Okay. So I go in the terminal now, and uh, as you can see, I'm in the right folder, videos, compile. Okay, yeah. So as you can see here as well, videos, compile, and one voice mixer.dsp is in the right folder. So now I do a make jack cutie. So I use a make file to compile it as a jack cutie application. So it will take some time because jack cutie applications because of the cutie graphical user interface is something pretty big. Okay. All right. So now we have a Jack Cutie directory, and in this directory, we have the One Voice Mixer application. Okay, so we're going to open it. And here we go. Okay, so we have the banner in the last position from the right, okay, as we declare in the graphical user interface. Uh, here we have the horizontal slider for the gain, okay, and uh, here we have the mute button. So we're gonna test it and see if it's working. So now I'm gonna go in Jack. So here I have my one voice mixer, right? Okay. And I'm going to play uh, Chopin's sound uh, with QuickTime player. So what I want to do is to root the signal from Quick... Uh, no, sorry. This is in iTunes. So what I want to do is to root the signal from iTunes to the one voice mixer. Okay. And the one voice mixer uh, to mm, the current recording, which is made by Cubase, okay, all right. So the signal from iTunes is sent to the one voice mixer and the signal from the one voice mixer is sent to my system and also to Cubase 4. Okay, so let's try it. Uh, here I have the sound, so I play it. So currently we don't have any sound, but this is because the gain of our one voice mixer is set to zero. This is the default value. So we're going to increase it and now you shall see and hear some sound. Okay. I'm going to see if the mute button is working. So. I check it and this is working as well. And I can route the signal on the left channel or the right channel. Okay, so as we can see, everything is working fine. And as uh, with any other false code, we could have compiled it with any other architecture files available in Faust. Okay, so thank you very much.